If your business or your client's business have more than 10 branches, offices or stores of their business, then you are eligible to use bulk verification process of Google My Business. In today's video, we'll find out how to do this bulk verification in GMB, what type of businesses can use this facility and how this whole thing goes. Uh, is it hard and how Google contacts you, what they ask. Hello everyone, I'm Amit Tiwari for Amit and today we are talking about multiple location setup aka bulk verification in GMB. And before we actually talk about uh, this whole process, I have a message about our Hindi audience. This video ka Hindi version bhi available hai already. Uska link aapko yaha upar uh, top right corner mein dekhai de raha hoga. Aur ye link is video ke description mein bhi hai. To ye dono version same, same hai. Aap uh, us video ko dekh sakte hai. So GMB's bulk verification process is actually very simple and all you have to do is upload a file. That's it. But you have to do a lot of work to prepare that file. One most important thing is that you have to have at least 10 locations or branches to use this method. So let's see how bulk verification is different than normal GMB listing. It is very easy to create a single listing in Google My Business. You just go to google.com slash business and start by typing your business's name in this lonely looking box. But if you want to create more than 10 listings for one business, Google allows you to upload a file and that's it. This file can either be a .xlsx, which is a Microsoft Excel file, or .csv. These 10 or more listings can be in a city, in a country, or worldwide. Google doesn't mind as long as they are for the same business. Each listing, or as Google calls it, location, must have same primary and additional category. Imagine if your company's name is Sample Private Limited and they have 4 hotels, 4 restaurants, and 4 schools, then you can't count them 12 and try to bulk verify these listings. Every location must have the same business, same category. And this option is also not available for service area listings. All of these locations must have a physical presence. If your client had already created some or all of these 10 plus locations and they have asked you to get these listings bulk verified, make sure that you have access to all of these listings. If you are added as manager or owner to only some of these listings, then you won't be able to get them verified. There is one more major difference between single location and bulk verified listings. In case of single location, you only verify your listing or listings, but in case of bulk verifications, your email ID also gets verified along with your listings so that you can add more locations to your business without going through the whole verification process again. It sounds great, right? But this means that if you are using an old account for bulk verification and the email ID has a lot of strikes or penalties against it, Google may take more time to verify your listings or might not verify them at all. Similarly, if you are going to use a new email ID for this process, make sure that it doesn't get penalized for any Google map policy violation or any Google policy for that matter. Any penalty or strike on your email ID will adversely affect your listings. If you own or manage a business with more than 10 locations, then you should not be trying new and risky stuff. So let's see how to actually do this. We'll start by going to Google My Business dashboard. You will see this add location button here. And if you click on it, you will see two options in this drop down. First option is add single location. And the second option is import location. Add single location option does exactly what it says. It adds a single location. Second option import location is for bulk verification. Click on it and you will see a nice window like this. Now the process is actually very simple. You just have to click on select file button and select your file. But the real question is how to prepare this file. But Google has given us three files to help us in this process. Here's download the template option, which lets you download Excel or CSV file. And there are two more files here, sample spreadsheet and attribute reference spreadsheet. Oh, by the way, we are going to use Excel file in this tutorial, uh, but the process is same for the CSV file format. So if you open this template file, you will see a blank file with some titles in the first row. And if you open the sample spreadsheet, you will notice that this is the same file with some added dummy data, for example. So we'll start with the blank template file. The first row has titles. The first column here is store code and the second column is business name. Let's talk about business name first. As the name suggests, you put the company name or the business name here. This must be same for every location. You don't need to put any location, state or any other adjective with any specific location's name. Just plain lonely business name in the second column. 
बट इफ एवरी लिस्टिंग हैज द सेम नेम हाउ डू यू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन दम वेलकम स्टोर कोड्स दिस स्टोर कोड वर्क लाइक अ रोल नंबर इन अ क्लास यू कैन जस्ट यूज द नंबर हेयर और एल्फा न्यूमेरिक कोड बट मेक श्योर दैट दे आर इन अ पैटर्न दिस स्टोर कोड इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी यूजफुल इन आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो जी एम बी रिपोर्टिंग एंड एनालिसिस थ्रू गूगल डाटा स्टूडियो देर आर टू रूल्स फॉर स्टोर कोड्स इन जी एम बी यू कॉन्ट यूज एनी यू आर एल इन दिस कॉलम एंड यू शुड नॉट चेंज और स्वाप दीज स्टोर कोड्स एट ऑल चेंजिंग स्टोर कोड्स और एक्सचेंजिंग दम कैन रून योर जी एम बी एनालिटिक्स एंड यू विल सी दिस इन द सेकेंड वीडियो नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट दीज फाइव एड्रेस कॉलम्स येस five address columns so you don't run out of space even if your location has super long address you will start with writing your address in the address field 1 and if you need you can use address line 2 3 4 5 there is no policy about how long the text can be uh, used in these address fields but i have found that 9 to 10 words or 42 to 43 characters including space is a great average but this is just my experience it's not a google policy you don't have to use all five columns you can leave some of them empty if you don't need them after address line fields you have some more columns sub locality is like part of the city the locality is a city and administrative area is the state the country is obviously country but you have to use iso code for your country like in for india us for united states of america and so on postal code is pin code or zip code whatever is used in your country Uh, if you have ever created a single location google map then you must have noticed that map pin part where you have to adjust the pin and google take this pin very seriously for obvious reasons but here in excel you can't do that but you have another option to tell google the exact position of that pin through latitude and longitude if you are not sure how to find latitude and longitude for your location it's actually very easy you just go to google maps on desktop or laptop and search for your location find your exact location and click and hold for a few seconds and then release your mouse you'll see a little dot like this click on this dot and now you will see two numbers after at sign in the url section first one is latitude and second one is longitude copy them from here and paste in these columns and now the primary phone column you have to give a local and unique phone number every location must have a unique and local phone number and don't exchange primary numbers among branches you can change this primary number for sure but don't do it frequently or google might get suspicious if you want to provide any common customer care number or 1800 type numbers you can use additional phone column here you can give a number that's common for a few or all locations and you can give more than one number in this just put a comma between them and you are good now we have the website column it's a little confusing because what google wants here is a unique url but if you have more than 10 locations then you can't create and maintain 10 websites and thankfully you don't have to uh, here you actually have to give a unique web page url so for example if your website is sample.com you have to create different pages for your locations like sample.com/location1 and sample.com/location2 and so on and then you can use these links in the website column in these location pages you should put that location's name its primary phone number uh, some images of that location and also embed google map of that location just make it like a, a mini home page for that branch after the website we have primary and additional category section these must be the same for all listing no exception and then we have seven columns for all days of the week you have to put business hours here in 24 hours format like if uh, that location is open for 10 in the morning to 7 in the evening then your business hours will be 10 uh, semicolon uh, double zero and dash and then 19 uh, semicolon double zero If your location remains closed during weekend or any other uh, day of the week leave that days column blank you can have different business hours for different location obviously and then we have special hours column you can leave this column blank and fill this information manually after verification if you don't want to do it right now but if you want to do it right away here's how to do it first you have to give the date in year month day format and then there's a semicolon and a space and then time in 24 hours format if you want to announce that any particular location would be closed on any specific day you can use this column put a comma after the first entry and give the date in year month and day format and just put a small x there and then we have from the business column 
This is basically uh, the business description column. You can use the same description for all location and make sure that your description is less than 750 characters long, including space. It's characters, not words. And now we have an opening date column. This can be same or different for all location depending upon the uh, opening of that branch. The logo column is here. You have to upload your logo file on your website and then put the link of that file here in this column. This logo link will be the same for all branches obviously. The cover photo can be same for all locations. This image will be the cover of your listing so choose it wisely. If you, if you think that any particular location can use a specific image that represent that area or that location particularly feel free to use a different image again you have to upload this uh, image to your website and then put that link here and then there is the additional photos column i will highly recommend putting three individual images of each location here first picture must be of that location's door or entrance that shows the permanent signage google won't accept temporary board or flex as signage. Second image should be the exterior of that location that shows the surrounding area including your location's entrance. And the third image should be the interior of your location. These three images will greatly decrease the time Google takes to verify all of your locations. And now we have a label column. Label is good to group your locations. For example, imagine if some of your locations are on the highway, you can give them a highway label or if some locations are inside of a mall, you can give them in the mall label. These labels will help you in finding specific locations and there's no rule for uh, these labels. Please bear in mind that these labels are not publicly visible and they won't help you in SEO at all. And then we have AdWords location extension that lets you give specific number that you want to use in ad campaign. And with this, the compulsory fields of this file are done. You can save your file now and upload the file on GMB. But if you want to give more information about your locations, here's how. Uh, remember that we downloaded an attributes file as well. This file has all the attributes that Google recognize and you can use whichever attribute apply to some or the most of your locations. Let's imagine if you are creating a listing for a hotel chain and some of your hotels have a game room. So you can copy this attribute here, activities game room. Now you can paste this attribute in the first row after AdWords phone number and then put yes for the location that have a game room and no for the rest. You should go through this uh, attributes file to see which one applies to your locations. So after providing all these attributes, you should save this file somewhere on your computer and then let's go back to Google My Business dashboard and upload this file by clicking on this button here. Uploading may take some time depending upon how many listings you are creating and once the uploading is done, you will see this progress bar here. We have to wait for this process to finish. Google will check the file and once that is done, you will see two options here. Cancel the import and preview changes. Let's click on preview changes for now and now you can see the details here how many new locations you are creating how many are getting updates and if there are any errors in this file there are quite a few here because we are using dummy data so if you see zero errors here and you want to go ahead click on apply here but if you see errors and you obviously want to know what those errors are click on download details link here and download this file in excel or csv file format you can now open this file and see what went wrong google will add one column at the start and tell you what you need to correct in each row it's super helpful you can now make changes in your original file and save that file and re-upload that in GMB. And once you get zero errors after the checkup, hit the apply button to create all these listings. But the process isn't finished yet. You have created the locations or listings all right, but they are not verified yet. You will get a call or an email like this from Google, my business bulk verification team, and they will ask you for additional details uh, about any specific branch or company or if any of your image is not uh, good enough. Google will check this new information and your uploaded Excel file and your website's location pages carefully and then verify your listing. This process usually take less than a week and you will receive a call about Google's decision, whatever it is. It feels amazing when you get your listings verified for the first time or in my case sixth. Your listings might take up to 72 hours uh, before getting published after verification. But in my experience, all listings get published within 12 to 14 hours. I have waited more than 24 hours only once, but even then we were uh, uploading about 600 listings. So I guess that's fair. 
So if you have followed all instructions carefully, you will get contacted by Google and your listings will get verified after close inspection and your email ID will also get verified for future bulk verification. So this was the complete walkthrough of bulk verification in Google My Business. In next video, we are going to talk about GMB reporting and analysis through Google Data Studio. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Amit Tiwari for Amit and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.